Hi, welcome back to a new year in Tiger News. It's exciting to come back with a new episode. I'm Suhaidi Biarial. And I'm Gracia Cabrera. Compton started off with a big event, Walk for a Cure, that was held on Saturday, October 13, and Tiger News was there. We had several reporters at the scene, including Jersey Carrillo and Amanda Palma. As well as Carla Norez and Ashley Ibarra. Let's go to our reporters at the scene. Hi, my name is Carla Nares and I'm here with Satcha Torita in the 7th Annual Compton Walk of Care. What inspired you to create this amazing event? Well, we've been doing the event for seven years and we started because in this community we needed to create awareness about early detection and survival. We want people to know that they can survive if they have cancer. And last year, after six years of doing this event, I was diagnosed with cancer. So this year is really special to me. Every year was special and I'm glad we were doing the advocacy because early detection saved my life. We have a lot of vendors here who have provided information. And then this year we have some doctors here who are gonna do ultrasounds, which is better than a mammogram for our ladies. So uh, somebody may find out something here today. So it's nice to be able to provide the resources. Hi, I'm Amanda Palma and I'm here today with Superintendent Dr. Raleigh. How's your day? Day's going great. It's a beautiful day here in Compton. Uh, rain came out, but did not deter the event and we have the opportunity to participate in our seventh annual Walk for the Cure. From your perspective, how do you think this event will impact breast cancer? I think it's going to have a significant impact uh, for individuals within our community. It's bringing more awareness and the importance about early screening to detect whether or not there's any issues related to cancer so that the treatment process can begin much earlier, which increases the chances for survival. Thank you for your time. Hi, I'm Jersey Carrillo, and I'm here with um, with Miss with Miss Adrian to talk about the event Walk to a Cure. How do you think? How do you get involved? Well, we are here walking for a cure, supporting our family members, our sisters, our friends, and letting them know that we support them in their walk to find a cure for cancer. And this is an amazing event. I really have a great time. Okay, thank you. Hi, my name is Ashley Barr, and I'm here with Desiree. How are you doing, Desiree? I'm fine, thank you. I was inspired to walk today because my sister is a breast cancer survivor and I'm very good friends of uh, Satra and Jaina Sarita who put this f uh, function on today. And I have some other friends that also are, are breast cancer survivors. So we have to walk, we have to fight for the cause. We need a cure for cancer and we're just believing that someday soon we will get a cure for cancer. And uh, I was just really excited to be a part of this. I've been a part of it for the last couple of years and I intend to continue to be a part, to come and support the cause. And thank God my sister's cancer-free cancer and Satra's uh, cancer-free as well. So fight for the cause, cure for cancer. Thank you, back to you. That was a great event. The last week of October, Emerson hosted their annual Red Ribbon Week. Hi, I'm Suheili Villaria and I'll be interviewing Asusena about Red Ribbon Week. Hi Asusena, how's your day? Good. What is Red Ribbon Week? Red Ribbon Week is for anti-bullying and anti-drugs. What, what activities will be hosted in Red Ribbon Week? Pajama day, sports day, wear our shirt backwards, and Gracie day. Thank you. Thank you. Back to you, Gracie. Let's see how students feel about the new school year. Hi, my name is Ashley Barra, and I'm here with Brooklyn Parker. How are you doing today? Today I'm doing wonderful. How are you doing? I'm, back. I'm good as well. Thank you for asking. What school did you come from? I came from Wanda Elementary in Side of Orange County. How, how has your school year been going? It's been going wonderful. Um, I have a lot of friends already and they support me like this. Um, uh, do you like the Ribbon Week? Yes, and I also think that it's very important for other schools to know about it and for kids to know about my school. Thank you. Back to the studio. We're excited to welcome new teachers on our campus. Hi, I'm Gracia Cabrera here interviewing Miss Elise, a brand new teacher here at Emerson Elementary. Miss Elise, why did you choose to come to Emerson? I've heard wonderful things about your school, and um, 
looking at the overall academic achievement going on and the wonderful uh, principal that you have, an excellent leader, uh, along with her staff, Mr. Soto and Ms. McCurr. Wonderful team. So this is a learning uh, fun place to work at. Wow, that's interesting. What grade are you currently teaching here? I am teaching a combination class, a first, second grade combination class, dual immersion. Um, what have you done during a teacher in the past? I have worked at um, other school districts, such as I was um, for a period of time at Santa Ana Unified. Uh, from there, we relocated over to South Orange County. So then I went on and um, worked over at Capistrano Unified School District. From Capistrano, I'm here at Compton Unified School District. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Hi, I'm here today with Ms. Bono, who's a new teacher here at Emerson Elementary. Ms. Bono, how are you settling in here? Oh, I'm settling in just fine, just uh, getting to know the teachers around here, um, especially the dual immersion teacher, teachers, just because I am a dual immersion uh, third grade teacher right now, so I'm settling in quite fine. What grade level are you teaching? At the moment, I am teaching dual immersion in the third grade. Do you have any experience teaching the third grade? I actually student taught uh, last semester in third grade in Long Beach, so I do have some experience um, teaching third grade, and this will be my first full-on year with the third graders in Dewey Immersion. What other grade levels have you taught before? The other grade levels that I have taught are preschool, second grade, and also kindergarten. So when I was working at, the, at another district, I was working at a Head Start, which is preschool, and then I also worked at an after-school program, which was for second grade. And Two years ago, I was working at, um, I was, well, not working, but I was doing my student teaching, and I student taught kinder and the third grade and dual immersion. Thank you for your time and have a great day. Thank you, you too. Hi, I'm Jerry Carew, and I'm here with Ms. Tefala. Hello, Ms. Tefala. Hello, scholars. Ms. Tefala is a new teacher here at Emerson. How do you feel about being a new teacher here at Emerson? It's been wonderful. At first, they had me sub and kind of get used to the kids and they were testing kids in the very beginning to see which kids am I going to be intervention math with because math is my specialty and so is science so I've been teaching fifth grade science here um, some of the things that are similar in eighth grade science are um, are have share in common with fifth grade so that's been interesting we've been studying about matter and I brought um, materials for the kids to use so they could have hands-on. And as you can see, I'm trying to create a college prep um, atmosphere within my own classroom, but it's, um, it's slowly beginning, but it's wonderful and I love the students here. Okay, thank you. Thank you. That's a wrap for this edition of Tiger News. See you next time.